Yo, what is good, damn guys? It's your boy Kane. Yes, sir. I'm back with another video. This is gonna be a little freestyle over a uh, over a time lapse here. I want to talk to you guys about Armor Paint for the iPad Pro, bro. I got Armor Paint on my iPad right now. It's cr it's crazy. It cost me $16.99 to buy this. Right now, it is sitting at a 1.0 review, and that's because one person added a review and they had a horrible time with it. They probably didn't have an iPad Pro because they were complaining about uh, performance. And as you can see here. I am not having any lag issues whatsoever. I'm about to go ahead and start painting on this uh, cube here. I created my own material uh, with some metallic and some roughness values change. And you can see me painting here on this cube and oh my God, it's fluid as fuck. You dig what I'm saying? Like there's no brush lag whatsoever. Like uh, I also went into the brush settings and changed it to where my uh, pencil doesn't affect the opacity of the uh, material. So I turned that off in the settings. It, it, I'm pretty sure there's a lot more settings that you can set up. I just went through this real quickly just to see what the program had in it. I didn't, I couldn't believe that it was available on the iPad, like Adobe, uh, Quixel, huge companies still haven't put a uh, texture painting software on a device like the iPad, which is used a lot for art. Uh, I know I've seen something about Procreate is doing something where you can paint 3D meshes inside of Procreate, but that's in Procreate 5, and we don't know when that's going to drop, and you might have to get a new iPad for that shit, so who knows. But yeah, back to this. I, I'm going ahead and I'm adding a, a smart material or a procedural material from the cloud uh, of, of materials that the uh, app creator provides for us. And what's crazy is that you can go in, change the to try planer, adjust the scale and do all kinds of things. You can go into a node editor and you can you can change up the values inside of a node editor. It's a node based texturing system, just like the uh, PC version of it. I actually haven't gotten into the node based shader editing, like the blender stuff that people do. Uh, so I, I'm not too adept and I can't really explain exactly how everything works with that. But I know if you know something about that shit, then it's going to be like, wow, I can do this on the iPad. Uh, but yeah, you. You can go ahead and you can paint masks. You can add masks. You can add fonts. You got a, a a pretty decent library of materials. You'll see here that there's a bug when I add the uh, environment map. The uh, materials just completely go to shit. So I start a new project. Uh, so and one other bug that I did run into when I was doing my first recording was whenever I started a new project. The screen would go black and like the UI would be unusable. But uh, apparently here that didn't happen. Uh, I don't know how to make that pop up again. I actually ran into a bug here where the buttons weren't working. That is one thing that I will say needs improvement is buttons. And it needs to let you know that something is loading, like a little loading symbol or a loading bar, progress bar. Something to let you know that there's progress being made on what you're doing so you don't repeatedly click over and over. But as you can see here, I'm about to start painting this uh, object that has multiple texture sets. And I will say whoever made this or uh, this uh, pivot on this object is a fucking idiot because you can't pivot him in a way to, to really get good painting on him. So you just see, you'll just see me dragging and dropping some materials here from the uh, cloud library. Uh, it's got procedural edge wear. It's also got procedural patterns and stuff like that. You can also, like I said, go into that node editor and create your own uh, materials and procedurals with uh, your own textures and stuff like that. But you'll see here, I'll start adding more materials, just trying to see how many layers I could add before this thing crashes on itself. And I don't know if you guys seen that back a few seconds ago. I, I am doing this on like 10% battery. I, I want to test the program and see what it could actually do um see how much it chewed up battery i want to say i started with 20 percent battery and i used the app for about 45 minutes and it ate up 10 percent. so it's i don't think it's a battery hog but it is it could be uh it could be optimized in that in that sense where it'll, it'll take up less battery but you'll see here as i keep on adding layers uh it, it's really it's really dope man i'm not gonna lie to y'all I don't regret spending the $16, but I do want to see this program improve. You can see I'm messing with the hue and saturation of a material by dropping a hue saturation node in there. And eventually I'll drop a layer in here and it'll crash. But I, man, I was amazed at how cool this software is. And I will say that this could be a huge software. I already left a review. I gave it three stars. 
I told the developer he can be a multimillionaire if he nails this because this doesn't exist on the marketplace yet. So good luck to him. And if you found this video useful, if you want to try it out, go ahead and test it out on the App Store, man. I'll see y'all. Peace.